I'm Paul Dale. I've spent 35 years writing about local government in England, mainly in the Midlands, and until recently I was political uh, public affairs correspondent at the Birmingham Post and Birmingham Mail. Um, my general advice to students wishing to get into writing and investigating uh, local government is really that this is uh, extremely uh, difficult area, it's not something you should take lightly, um, it's going to take dedication, uh, a lot of patience and a lot of hard work, but can be very rewarding. Why do I say this? Well, the main reason is that I'm afraid even with uh, the Freedom of Information Act, uh, local government is still a vastly bureaucratic and secretive uh, organisation and that, that you will find that from the smallest parish council up to the largest uh, local authority in the country, indeed in Europe, which happens to be Birmingham City Council. Um, if you want to test the water on this, I suggest you go on to the council's website, www.birmingham.gov.uk, and uh, attempt to find something out uh, of interest. I don't know what it might be. Uh, it might be perhaps how much money uh, the council spent last year on buying water for its staff or tea and coffee for its staff and councillors. And uh, I think you'll find very quickly that you cannot find that information uh, very easily and quite possibly uh, not at all. So how do we go about uh, finding out the information we need? Well, I think really you have to you, you have to form contacts at a local council. You need to go along to meetings. You need to get to know the people who matter, the politicians who matter. Uh, more importantly, as importantly, the officers that matter. And uh, inevitably, you will pick up uh, possible stories from meetings and. One pretty good tip, I think, is that most councillors, most elected councillors, will be, will be absolutely delighted to think that anyone is taking an interest in what they're doing. Um, whether you're a journalism student or a fully-fledged journalist, they'll be, quite, uh, they'll be quite interested in that. And uh, if they're not part of the controlling political group of the council, uh, they may well be happy to try and help you help you with your inquiries but at the end of the day you're probably going to be down to the root of trying to find out information through an FOI request. Now this needs to be framed uh, very carefully because the council will uh, do anything to try and avoid answering any kind of question which it thinks to which it thinks the answer might be embarrassing. Um, so you need to make sure that you've, you frame the question in such a way that it doesn't give them, give them an excuse to say, well, we don't understand this question. Um, that, I'm afraid, yeah, it does come down to, does come down to experience.